All right, so I got all my wheel back on together. Everything good. I am gonna uh, be filling the tube with uh, stand no tube. Uh, this is the cylinder I use. This is way better than slime. Slime sucks. Uh, uh, this stand has been around for about 20 years now. Works fantastic. Uh, you know, so it prevents fats and seals leaks in tubeless tires, tubular tires. That's uh, that's when you, you know the Tour de France guys use tubular tires, and inner tubes with a re removable valve core. So this is the removable valve core. Now this is a, sh a Schrader valve. I have a little sh valve core tool. Make sure you deflate it first, and we did that. Um, take this out. And there's the valve core. Alright. So well, this is a good angle because this stuff's gonna droop down to the bottom. So I'll shake this stuff up first. And uh on a mountain bike, let's see right here it, it tells you what the quantity is, like on a mountain bike. Uh well, actually it's on tire size. One to two and a half or two point four inch wide tires use two to three ounce and uh two and a half to four inch wide use three to four ounces so so those are basically you know mountain bike and road bike tire sizes this thing is so small that you don't need that much so I'm just gonna put in an ounce so I have a little my little syringe thing my bob here um, I'm gonna use 15 milliliters or 15 cc's actually I'm gonna use 30 cc's uh, 30 milli milliliters so 30 uh, cc's is approximately uh, one ounce Take my syringe out like so. My finger right there. Shake up the bottle a little bit already. Uh, pour this in. Okay, so that's good right there. Put this back on. Flip it upside down and let, let that pressure out because when I push it in displace that much air so it's gonna be pressurized slightly so let's see if it squirts out I'm just gonna spray everywhere hold on let me move all my stuff here so it doesn't spray all my stuff okay let's see see that so it squirted out a little bit that was just a tiny little bit so from here I'm just gonna basically slide in like so and easily you know oops Make sure the uh, the syringe part is flush or square, sitting fat against the valve stem as best as possible. You just kind of squeeze this in. That's just air bubbles, just displacing air bubbles. There's some some uh, stuff coming out. So this stuff, this stands no two. This is basically it's a uh, it's some type of a latex and something else. Uh, and and it's uh, also ammonia. And I'm not sure what else is in there, but you know, it's, essentially it's it's latex. Now I tried, you know, I went to the hobby store and I tried the latex, just you know, that you buy from the hobby store. I tried that by itself, and it, it's not the same thing. It doesn't work the same um, as as Stan. Stan's works totally better, um, way way better than than just buying the latex from the uh, from the store. So that was 15 milliliters, another 15 milliliters should give me give me uh 30 30 milliliters, which is 30 cc, same thing, milliliters and cc is the same thing. And uh and uh you know uh that much is about roughly uh one ounce. So like that so just easy and you know, don't squeeze it in there too fast. Let the stuff flow down to the bottom. It would be nice if I could, if I had something that could actually screw onto the screw onto the valve, but I don't have anything like screw onto the valve. But I have something like screw onto the valve, and I could like put some type of, of uh, like a tube, like some type of tube to it, then a tube to this, then I would have no spillage at all, and that would be I think the best solution. But I don't have anything like that, unfortunately. Alright, so I wiped it off, so I'm good. Where's my valve stem? Shit, I moved it. Now I don't know why, why I knocked it over. There it is. There's the valve stem. 
make sure it's nice and clean. There's no debris or anything because debris could like uh, clog it in in the in the open position and then leak. So put it back in. Spin it counterclockwise until it seats. It seats. You can feel it and hear it. Then you could uh, spin it clockwise, and that's it. Now I can just pump it up. Remember, I reamed out this this part right here, so that way I could you know I could put my air check on here without any problems instead of using the stupid adapter that it comes with. So that's it. That's all you need to do to uh, um, to uh, um, to uh, uh, put the goop. You, know, you you could use slime if you want, but slime is again slime doesn't work. I don't, in my opinion, slime doesn't work very good. Or at least not as good as as stamps. This works way better than slime. So that's the the uh, the rear. I mean the front. Now I'm gonna do the rear. Actually, let me move the camera. Okay, just to move the camera. Anything over there? This, this, and this. Move it over. Like so. Okay. The side still pressurizing everything. Yeah, depressurize. It's best to depressurize it while the, the valve is still in there. You could take the valve out while it's still under pressure, but that's dangerous. If you use a hand stick or something like that, the valve could shoot out and shoot in your eye, and you know, there goes your eyeball. So better to uh, do it while it's uh, in there. Sometimes the stem might slip down a little bit, so with your finger hold, you know, here I'm from the back side, I'm holding it so that way it doesn't slip down any further. core it's pretty clean okay. uh, and this valve is not quite square either it's kind of angular but I don't like that uh, actually having it angle this way is actually okay having it angled uh, clockwise is okay because because I say if you lock up the brakes uh, if there's any strip you know if the tires kind of under under inflated the, the tire will actually slip uh, uh, that way, and when it, when the tire slips that way, this valve, since it's, this valve core is angled this direction, it will actually it will move this direction, so it, so it doesn't harm it. But if it's already in this direction here, you know, facing like this, and it slips, it's gonna slip and it's gonna rip at you know at the base of the stem. So so this angle is actually okay. All right. So same thing with this side. Um, so I'm gonna do this quickly. I'm gonna see to see this you know, double take on this thing. Um, it's, so oh. some spillage a little bit. You uh, always gonna. Seems like you can never get all of it in, so I angle it a little bit that way. So that way, it has the liquid has a chance to just flow down towards the towards the bottom uh, before I pull it out. So that way, it doesn't squirt everywhere. Uh, otherwise, if, it's, if the valve's at the bottom, it could squirt out more than than it, it normally would if you have it up higher. So that's 15 milliliters. Do another 15. Okay. Mm, squeeze it in. Take it easy on the squeezing in. If you squeeze it too fast, it's gonna shoot out. And there's a little bit of air here to squeeze that into that way. Hopefully, it pushes it all, all down. Okay. Get the liquid to flow down a little bit. Before you pull it out, that's it. You didn't squirt out very much, so that's good. Again, this stuff is uh, latex space, valve core, latex space. Um, so spin it, spin it counterclockwise until you feel it, and over here, here the seat. 
right there. Then you get those clockwise till it stops. That's it. So that's done. All you need to do is just pump up the tires now. All right. So I guess I don't think you guys need to see me pumping up the tires. Uh, so thanks for watching.